We are in a very small town just outside of Moose Jaw and we are headed east and we left Calgary fit. this morning. What's not going to fit? It won't reach. It won't reach? Because they've got a barricade. There. Oh, we've got to make a few adjustments. Uh, we need gas. Um, we're at 600 and almost 50 kilometers for that full tank that we filled up in Calgary. And uh, so we found a, a mom and pop, all you can eat takeout buffet, uh, I guess because of COVID and all that stuff, uh, they don't want to deal with straight up buffets, but it looks like for 1995, you can, I guess they might give you a box or something and then you just point to all the stuff you want and they fill up the box until you can't take anymore. I'm guessing, we don't know. So we thought we'd bring you guys along with us to the amazing city of uh, Moose Jaw and uh, eat some Chinese food with Ken and Carol. But first we gotta gas up so we can actually get there. Yep, sounds cause, good. Cause we're not gonna make it. I think it's another half an hour from here, I think. So diesel here is 205.9 per liter. So it's only, I think, 15 to 50 minutes to a half an hour to get there. like the best parking spot for this very long van nice right by summit thanks summit you hungry i'm hungry let's feed perfect huge buffet Dinner buffet. February 27th. Oh, so, so we're good, right? Hello. How does the buffet work? Uh, you pick your seat, and I'll bring you your water and cutlery, and then you have your salt to the buffet, and then they have you to pick up the food for you. Okay. So, but we can eat here, or do we ha does we have to go with it? Uh, eat here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, on the website it said, uh, all you can eat, takeout. Take out. <laughs> Where do you guys want to sit? Anywhere. Let's go for the, right here. I'll bring your water. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else I can grab to drink today, or water is good? Do you have Sapporo? Uh, is it a beer? Yeah. Uh, Sapporo, uh, Sa Pilsner, Bud Light, Cocaine, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a Pilsner, please. I'll check it. Yeah, thanks. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Okay, cool. Fantastic. You Thank you very much. So you just help yourself to the buffet and then they'll help you to pick up the food. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let me know if you guys need something else later. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks. So I've seen this around a lot. Show the logo. Cheers. Old style Pilsner, five percent alcohol, three hundred forty-one milliliters. That is good. I love Pilsner. And I don't recall being able to seeing this in, in Ontario, but I'll have to look again. You guys ready to eat? Ready. Let's go. Ooh. Look at all the food, all the shrimp. Hello, how are you? Oh, we've got crab. Could I have Chicken a spring roll, roll please? I just want to see what everything is. We got barbecue pork, dumplings, deep fried shrimp, chicken balls. 
Oh boy. Um, hmm. Let's start with some noodles, please. That's good. Mm -mm. A scoop of mushrooms. And yeah, sorry, but some sauce. Just on this, just on the... Some broccoli, please. Great, thank you. I, I don't know what else to put on there. And these are fried men, too. I'll take two of those, please. Two. And some lo mein. Thank you. And uh, some of your pan-fried shrimp, please. Perfect, thank you. That's good. Oh, okay, great, perfect, thank you. What kind of sauce is that? I don't know, I'll find out in a second. I'm gonna grab one of these and definitely a soy. Oh, I don't, I didn't see any soup. Oh, wonton soup. Oh, and they have pierogies too. Can we get two wonton soups, please? Oh yeah. Those look good. Check that out, people. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I don't know what these are. They just look good. Carol's walking all balanced nicely. Very slowly. And she got a spoon for our one. That is a crazy big long spoon. Yeah. For I this time, <laughs> definitely gonna do this wonton first. Get that done and out of the way. Let me know if you agree. Eat your wonton first. I can smell it from here. Oh, it smells good. Mm, it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was our original plan we were gonna have for tonight? <laughs> Hot dogs with no buns. Hot dogs with no buns. Uh, canned beans. Mm -hmm. Mr. Noodles oh, Mr. Or, or pasta. Right, like a spaghetti thing out of the van. We, we found a, an RV park on the other side of Regina called Buffalo Outlook. Well, that's hot, eh? That's hot. And then the same thing as Carol, do some broth first. It is nice. <laughs> I'm not sure. Carol tried really hard to cut hers in half and then gave up. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. I think she gave up for a reason. Could yeah. probably use your fork. Yeah. Cheers. It's just a little bit warming. Great temperature. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just want to try one of these things. I don't know what it is. It's like, it looks like a little bread bun. Well, maybe that's what you're supposed to dip in your sauce. Mm. No, yeah, it's just a deep fried bun, I guess. Let's try it with that sauce. I don't know. He said, oh, look at that. It's like icing or something. And I think he said it was sweet. Now, I'm thinking this is a dessert thing. I'm thinking. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't eat this with any anything else on there. And he asked me if I wanted more. But I guess I'll eat that after I eat everything else. Looks like you should dig into your spring rolls next. Okay. So they don't have a lot of selection, but they do have a lot of things that we do like yeah. in there. So chicken, ball. chicken balls and your spring rolls. Yes. These are super duper yeah, strong ones. That is really big. Ooh la la. Oh, we got chicken. Ooh. Do you prefer when it's, the sauce is red or you could care less what color the sauce is? That's like an orange. Yeah. And a lot of times in the past, it's always been like a bright red. As a kid, I just loved it. It was just like the amazing chicken nuggets, Japanese, mm -hmm. Chinese style with the sauce. That was mm -hmm. my favorite. Oh, you wanted to do some noodles? I just want to hear your crunch. I want to hear the crunch. Yeah, that is super crunchy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, first up, shrimp. These are, I don't think I've seen shrimp like this at a Chinese food restaurant. But they're just pan fried shrimp, but they're also battered. Huh. 
Oh, lemon. Oh. Very lemony. Mmm. Lemony, salty, crunchy. I'm going to get more of those. And of course, one of Carol's most hated vegetables of all time. Oh, yeah. Mushrooms. I always get mushrooms at Chinese food places. I and mean, I always like to stock up on the broccoli because however they walk their broccoli, they do a great job. And that soft, well, look at these U udon noodles. Come in for a close up on that. Twirl it. Lift it. Soy sauce that up big time. I grabbed a, an extra, what is that stuff? Plum sauce? Mm -hmm. you know, I'll do that. I'm gonna get some spring rolls next. Let me just do one more scoop. Just gotta hurry up because Carol's holding the camera and she's hungry. I don't want a happy wife, happy life. Happy. Everybody, happy life. <laughs> Definitely put the soy sauce on there. That made it taste so much better. Mushroom. Beautiful, crunchy shrimp. Pan fried. They, they put a lot of lemon on there, but it tastes great. And of course, you gotta have your vegetables. I never know exactly what kind of sauce they uh, douse these in, but whatever it is, it's always been super tasty. Mm. I'm gonna eat all that and then go get more. Looks like I get the clean plate award. Oh, Carol, <laughs> Carol's hiding her vegetables. I see it. Where's the vegetables? Where are they? Oh my goodness. Let's go get some more. <laughs> Mostly just broccoli <laughs> <laughs> and carrots. <laughs> yeah, awesome. That's great. Thank you. And um, no, the chow mein, lo mein, please. Lo, lo mein. That's great. Thank you. Um, and uh, chicken bowl. Hello. I'm going to uh, do some deep fried wonton too, please. And uh, yep. And uh, three chicken balls with a sauce. Uh, I'm going to do some of this, please. I guess the barbecue pork. That's good. I'll do the last two dumplings. Do you recommend a sauce for that or? Okay. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna try a couple of these um, crab. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, that's fine. And then I'll do your last spring roll. And I guess a couple of your ribs, please. Montreal ribs. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Here's my meat plate. Tell me if you like meat plates. So this time around you went with uh, mostly broccoli because you don't like some of those other, I guess it would be kimchi like and stuff or cabbage. It's cabbage, yeah. But of course you have the chicken balls and you love, and that's lo mein? Yeah. Uh, okay, just noodles. Yes. Dig in. Okay. You already did that for me, so I'm gonna go move over here. Look at that, guys. Let's chow down. <laughs> Sorry about the crazy lighting, but that's just the way it goes when you do these off-the-cuff type videos. Let's try that barbecue pork. It looked good when I walked by. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. That's not what I thought you were going to do. I thought you were going to say 
taste good mm. the way that you said it. it looked good when I walked by. And so and then I tried it and it was good. Yeah. And there's these crab things, I'm not sure. Mm. Crab and it starts with the R. Okay. It's like a little wonton shell. And like crab and um, cream cheese on the inside. Not bad. Then we've got these crunchy. <laughs> I know it's gonna be crunchy. That is definitely more than one. Come on, they're stuck together. Deep fried wonton. Definitely crunchy. A little serving of pork, and then they just bunch up the, the wonton thing and uh, deep fry. Mm -hmm. I've got to try that chicken bulb. Put some of that syrupy stuff on there. I haven't had that in a long time. It's as good as I remember it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chicken balls are good. I'll put some of this on a spring roll. There we go. It's just drizzle on. Sometimes I like to put it on like this, like a hot dog. And sometimes I'll bite and then pour, bite, pour. But in this situation, let's do it that way. Oh, super crispy. Mmm. Oh, lots of vegetables inside. I fixed the blinds so I don't have these stripes all over my face. Definitely better. Dumpling. And there's only two left, so I took both. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a fresh batch for the next people. That was good. It's like um, Eosa. Oh, yeah. yeah. Would you like a try a piece? No. Oh. Carol loves gyoza. Yummy dumpling. A moose jaw. I was kind of hoping for either some Chinese beer or a Japanese beer. It doesn't look like they have it, but... I think I usually love a Sapporo or a, an Asahi. But here's our pork uh, ribs. What did they call them? Uh, I remember they said something ribs. Like almost like a Montreal smoked ribs. Mmm. It tastes like honey garlic ribs that we should get back in the day. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Same flavor. Those look a bit breaded though. Yeah, they're a little bit not as coated in like a very syrupy, sweet. Thing. Kind of looks a little dry, but it has the same flavors and textures. Mm. Are you gonna get more? No, I'm full. No, you're done? Yeah. No dessert? It's jello and peaches. jello. It'd be interesting to know if you've eaten here and uh, before in the past <gasps> and had their buffet. Let us know in the comments below. Did they have way more stuff? And I know it's more fun to pick your own stuff, but they don't do that yet. Mm. I'm gonna polish the rest of this off. I'm gonna go check the, see what else they have. I think I had a bit of everything, pretty much. And then we'll go find our uh, campsite. Beer's all done, food's all done, <coughs> Carol's all done, but I'm definitely gonna head over there and grab some dessert. Let's go. It's gonna get uh, a red jello, an orange jello, and uh, a brownie, please. Great, thank you. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to use my fork. I'm glad you didn't take it. Look what I brought you, honey, because I know you love. There's a big basket of them. Look at that presentation. Yes. <laughs> I know it's funny, I think there's other people up there, but I was like next in line. She thought I was coming back for more food. 
And so she happened to have the big plate in her hand. And I said, I want one of each. And, uh, oh, crunchy. Don't eat the paper. I'm gonna have to wait now. While we're waiting, let's try this. Love brownies. Mm. Oh, chocolate. Chocolate chunks, not just. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. No, sometimes uh, this is the brownie mix. Some people put chocolate chunks in it, some people don't. This one has chocolate chunks in it. Yeah. Mm, like big chunks. Hey, Carol. Yes. Jello always jiggles. Jello jiggles. This one's not as much as that one. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the height. Let's just tip it up and see what happens. Yeah. Wobble, wobble. <laughs> wobble, wobble. Don't play their food. Look at that, you can see, right? It's translucent and jiggly. Jiggle, <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. We both wobble when they don't fall down. Remember those? Yep. Okay, read. Okay. It says, you will have a good night's sleep. tonight. <laughs> That's not. It does not, but I'm not going to shit. Oh, my not goodness. Oh, really? Is that the rule? Let's see if I can just stab this right through. Ugh. It's like that uh, ballistics gelatin. They show, <laughs> so they show the, and you can see, <laughs> check that out. You can see my, oh, it's like sliding on uh -oh. even more. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh I'm glad it wasn't up this. in the air. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's eat, let's which one's better. Well, the red's gonna be better for sure. Really? Yeah. Cherry? Cherry or, or orange. Orange. No. Cherry wins. Yeah. Carol's right again. Oh, yeah. That was too much. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching something. Oh, we were, we were watching something, and, and the girl just put in a huge thing of jello. Jello or food? Oh, right. Jello. And, she, she... and then she laughed and she spit it all back right. out, but it was all still solid. Right. If it was a jello shooter. Oh, she was, yes. She that's was doing right. like a TikTok and she was trying yeah. to be all cool and sexy. And she did a yeah. huge chunk of blue jello came shooting out of her throat. A friend is a present you give yourself. That makes sense? Huh. Let me see, I'm gonna try and read the French side and see if anybody no. can guess what it is. Okay, go for it. Okay. Let me, let me. No, no, I'm just gonna read it. Vous heritez de l'argent d'une personne inattendue. Si if anybody can translate that yep. brutal French. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did French in grade seven and eight, and <laughs> that's it. It's been a it. long time. It's been a long time. Well, let us know in the comments below also if you love the, oh, the, the fortune Chinese cookies. fortune cookies. They're the best. These are these are good. These don't, they don't taste as sweet as I remember them. Much of they've changed the recipe at all. Has the same mm -hmm. flavor and everything, but they don't seem as sweet as they used to be. Yeah. No, something's missing. What's that? Maybe because just, just had a bunch of sweet jello. Maybe that's why. Oh, oh, oh. It's such a messy thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well done. Good job. Let's pay and get to our campsite or our RV site before they're all gone and before it's dark. Great idea. We need a walk, try to work off some yes. of this too. Sounds good. See you later. That's a cool little display. Very nice. Beautiful downtown Moose Jaw. There you go. Jade Garden Restaurant. Check it out.
about RV Park. And there's the RVs. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty small, don't you think? Yeah, but you can go anywhere. Yeah. You can have any spot you want. I don't see no buffalo. It's just a lookout. So, all vehicles must stop at office. Okay, I mean, he says that little package is in What is a fuss? Fuss. Fuss. Where is the fuss? Yay! Where is the fuss? The bill comes to forty-one twenty-five in total. Okay, we are again, guys. We could have slept at a at a Walmart for free, but we just wanted to show you guys some of the different uh, RV parks. Uh, we'll do this kind of stuff every once in a while, but we definitely uh, want to save some money in in parking Walmart's. And... Oh, we're over there. Okay. Ooh, nice airstream. Gotta love those airstreams. Thirty-two? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. So, oh, they're thirty-two. Okay, we're thirty-three. So, should I park? Back, back it in that way so that, that we yeah, have privacy. The other thing, too, when you know which way your head is going to be in bed. Oh, right. You, you basically want to park nose down. So, I'm going to be parking in this way. And I'll show you. So, this looks like it's going downhill a little bit right here. Okay, that's better than yeah. up in the air. Yeah, right here. Oh, look at that sunset off the side of the van. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Looks like some people leave their trailers here some people will i don't see i was kind of i was kind of thinking that it was just the name of the place called buffalo lookout it is possible that the buffalo are have been re relocated so yeah we're into the messy van. We had uh, breakfast this morning, and then we did some dishes. Uh, we had eggs and bacon, and uh, we do have a porta potty in here now. Uh, that will eventually be a sliding thing that goes underneath the bed, and it'll be hidden away when you're not using it. And uh, yeah, a few people said, "Why did you build the bed so high?" Uh, one thing put the bike in there and then you have tons of storage carol just mentioned today that she loved the height of our bed for the fact that she could actually crawl in there and just kind of sit and then move things around to get some stuff again we don't have all of our cabinets in we don't have our slide um uh storage compartments and things in yet it's going to take six months to a year to build this whole thing out so uh, that's the other reason we wanted the bed up high is for lots of storage and then when you're sitting in this bed You can sit and you can have your back against you, your head just barely touches the roof If you have your bed down lower, then you have all this wasted space above your head. So uh, Another thing too is I've seen people Put a skylight here and then the thing actually opens up like a hatch usually this way and then you can crawl out and then you can have a patio or a deck on top of your roof and then you can watch the sunset from up there uh carol also has these lights in here carol do you, can you help me turn these on i don't know where you put all the little packs they're hidden against the black walls so carol put all these little uh, twinkle lights up and uh when it's pitch black outside and all these little twinkle lights are on it definitely lights up the room a little bit and i also added a new one last night oh did you oh okay the what are those dragonflies yes the same thing they there you go that definitely lights up stuff oh and that's another one nice <laughs> the lanterns don't really oh right the lanterns light yeah they're just they're kind of nice looking yeah. if it's completely dark yeah it looks nice but 
and I installed our yes. CO2 and uh, smoke, smoke detector. Smoke detector, Good. yes. Got that done. And uh, we also got some beer while we're in town, so uh, we're going to either play some cards as the night, as it gets darker around here, and uh, yeah. I also put up my flower thing. Very it's cool. A wind thing, but right. I thought, heck, I brought it. Might as well use it. Yeah. And I have another tip. I think oh. Ken's probably discussed it already, but these are just heavy duty magnets from the dollar store and they're for a wreath for like christmas, at christmas time. time and they are actually really strong like they, they've held uh. on <laughs> and then you can just, lots of different things have been hung up you can there just quickly weekend. throw a hat on actually this i have these clips here too so i can just quickly throw my hat up there put a cloth, put a cloth in there <laughs> and it just hangs up all right, guys, that's all we have for you today. I hope you liked going into Moose Jaw and going to the buffet. I know you guys want food in every single video, and we're trying to do that. And uh, like I said in the past, we're going to be cooking food in the van every once in a while for you guys with your recipes. And we're also going to be trying mom and pop shops, uh, buffets. What was the other thing? I think it's, and just, you know, if there's something new in the fast food industry, we'll probably give that a shot as well. Anyway. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.